Hello and welcome to another NCAA Live Stat software tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at the volleyball stat program. Um, this program is very straightforward like the rest of them. It's point and click. You kind of, you know, you're going to have to point and click at what you're going to do in points and, and whoever's using it. This one is very, uh, volleyball can be a sport that's very high paced and lots of action. So you're going to definitely have a spotter with you um, when you're going through this. Um, so we're going to get started here. So this is a game that um, actually I found loaded in with a game key already. So it already has players into it um, and, and we're ready to go. So we're going to hit start. It, you know, it says right here, start or dismiss countdown on the configure. We're going to dismiss it. So it's going to take us right to our lineup since you'll click here. And then you can select from over here what your lineup is. So you're going to go with your starting six for our purposes. We're just going to click the first six on each side. Um, and then we're going to add our liberos. Here in a second, we're just going to go with one libero for each side for all intents and purposes. And then when you're done, you're going to hit confirm. And then you'll have before the game started, you'll get to you'll figure out um, who's serving first. They'll have the coin toss and everything. Um, so our purpose, we're going to say Penn State serving first. Um, and you'll have this and you'll have your, your both sides here. Typically, these colors will be a little different. You can change that. If you go over here to game and edit teams. Hopefully it lets me do this. You can change color Nebraska. We're going to make them red because that's what color they would typically be. Penn State will let them be blue, um, you know, for, for the heck of it here. And we'll go save and confirm. It rolls through here. And it'll take us back to our main screen. It may take a moment. So here we are. Um, so Penn State. Is going to serve first. They're going to select your server. If you've got a sub before the serve, you go over here and click that. Um, we're for our purposes here. We're not going to. We're going to say nine's our server. We'll select there. And then when the ball goes up in play, um, you're going to hit serve nine. And odds are you're going to have somebody calling out to you the numbers on the other side. So you're going to probably say, uh, you know, red three, set six. And then the attack, we're going to say five. And they'll say that out to you. And then when you do that, it flips it over. So you can go over here and it'll, if you ever get lost, you can look over here. It'll tell you, you know, dig. So that's the shot you're on. So it's one, two, and the attack here, six, is going to go over. Um, and then for our purposes here, we're going to say that attack misses Y. So we're going to hit point, and that'll give the point to Nebraska. And as you see, it'll show up here, attacking error on six. And it's a one nothing. If you ever get lost or ever find that you're, like, behind on anything or something's not quite right, you can go over here if you need to – Excuse me, if you need to go back and flag it, uh, just in case there's something that you miss, you can do that there. Um, and if something goes wrong, it'll show up as a flag, and you can go back and fix it, uh, so on and so forth. You can also take a step back, which you can find down here. So we're going to work on our first sub here. Um, so if your server is not in the game, it'll tell you here, select the serving player or click the bench for a sub. We're going to say 26 comes in, and instead of popping up on the screen, 26 is going to pop out here. Um, and you don't have to worry about rotation or who's where. Um, you, honestly, you don't have to worry about that. It's just nice and simple. You can hit 26. It's going to be your server. She comes in and serves. Um, so she's going to send it over. And then you're going to select your reception. Uh, we're going to go with three. And then let's say um, we're going to set for two. And six goes to attack. But before she attacks, we've got a player in the net. So we're going to hit before hitting error. And we're going to select who did that. And we're going to say four ran into the net. And there you go. So four ran into the net. So right here, it'll tell you before hitting error on four. And it'll turn it over. So now they'll get to serve. Our libero is going to come in the game. She's going to step in and serve. So you're going to hit serve, 43. It's sent over Doug by 26. Four is going to set it. And it's actually going to go straight over. So you're going to go over here. Six is going to dig it. Attack from two. I say it's blocked by two and four. So two blocks in on there. So you select your player for the block. There can be multiple blocks. Um, there can be just a straight up block as well. Um, so we select the players for our block. And then we're going to say block. So it's already done that. So you're going to select the point here for them. So they're going to win the point here off of two blocks over. And you're obviously so if there's just a block error, you're just going to select one. Um, but you've got two blocks to go over. Actually, your player is in the same area if they get it, you know two pieces of it, or for some reason you're not able to 100% tell who got the last piece of it. You'll have your spotter tell you that maybe. Um, timeout. So you can go over here. 
hit timeout, elect who took it. Uh, we're going to say Penn State takes an early, um, and they take one, and we'll keep track of that for you. And here's your set stuff here. Um, this software is fairly simple. Um, I mean, you'll have your stuff up here, your settings, uh, help if you need it, and error, game information, things like that, your reports. That's how you can print your stuff out here. Um, you know, you, you'll have your – if you have a printer connected, it'll show up over here. I do not at the moment. Um, you know, if there's an interruption of some sort, you can always click there, reports. It'll tell you that game. You have your system check, all these different things. You want to go back and edit them. If you have to leave and hit file, close game, it'll keep it safe for you where you're at. Uh, if you have to leave the game and hit exit, it'll shut the whole – program down it'll still save where you were so that's a good thing you won't have to go back and take care of anything uh, else like that so let's go ahead and run through one more point one more scenario here so we're going to say three serves it over um so she's going to take the serve and then the reception made by seven and let's say it went out of play so on the point is going to be awarded point for nebraska it'll show up there from time to time as well and right here it'll tell you service ace for three and the error on seven as it went out of play. So it's 3-1 for Nebraska. They're going to keep the same server. Serves headed over. Reception 9. We're going to say set by 6. Sent over by 9. It's dug by our libero. Set made by 6. Attack 4. We're going to say it's a clean attack. And we're going to go there and hit point. And I'll tell you right here, kill. Number four, slaughter. Very, very uh, effective name and for, for a kill. But here we go. So there you go. Your serve three. You want to send it over. Let's say they the, the serve goes into the net. So you're going to hit point for Penn State. And there you go. Service error on three, four, two. Your score. It's there. If you ever get lost, like I said, um, you know, you ever get lost anything over here, if you need to flag a point to go back to it, you can do that. Um, if something's not right, it'll also flag it for you to go back and change. And like I said, if you ever need to take a step back, just hit the step back button. It'll take you back to where you were, and you can go back from there. And then substitution will add it there. Um, I think you add it there, and they show up down here. It'll fill all of this up for you. It'll keep your libero at the top because, obviously, they're going to be into the game probably a little more um, than you would with just one sub before they come in, just, you know, a typical volleyball thing here. Um, but, yeah, other than that, that is pretty much how it works. It's a very simple program, point and click, like all the other Genius Points products or Genius Sports products uh, that they have put out for the NCAA Live Stats software. Um, thanks for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day.